I'm angry. <laughs> so this morning, I finally got to the last boss fight in Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I don't know if people think that game is long or not. To me, that was like one of the longest games I've ever played. Like it just never ended. But anyway, finally got to the last boss and my game crashed and got corrupted, putting me all the way back to Darth Vader. I uninstalled and I will probably never ever touch that game again. Anyway, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and happy Thursday. In today's video, we are going to be ranking the AFC divisions by position because you guys lit up yesterday's video with likes. Appreciate that by the way guys, it means a lot. Couple of quick plugs as always, we got G Fuel and Prize Picks where you can use code Wyatt's World to save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products or match up to $100 of your first deposit. Remember to always play responsibly though and let's get into the video. Alright, so I know I don't need to explain really anything for this, but for those who missed yesterday's video or don't know how this works, every division I'm gonna have a list that looks just like this, and I'll be ranking divisional teams at that position from best to worst. So now that we can begin, we are starting with the AFC West. Alright, so our quarterbacks here are going to be Patty, Herbie, Russ, and whoever the hell the Raiders have. And maybe if it's Tom Brady, I'll switch him over Russ, but I still wouldn't take Tom right now over Justin Herbert. Is that a hot take? I don't really know. Anyway, on to running backs. This is probably gonna be a hot take. Eckler, Jacobs, Pikachu, Javante Williams. Even though I love Javante Williams, he did nothing last year because he tore his ACL. Pacheco looked pretty good. Josh Jacobs had a career year, which was outstanding. However, Austin Eckler, he's got that dual threat capability that basically only only Christian McCaffrey possesses. Now we're on to receivers. Chargers, Raiders, Broncos, Chiefs. It should be no shock to anybody that the Chargers have the best receiving room in this entire division. Raiders have Devontae Adams, which keeps them above the other two. Then in third, we got Judy and Sutton, who aren't a terrible combo, and they are definitely better than the Kansas City Chiefs because they have nobody. Yet they'll still finish in first. Now we're on to tight end. Travis Kelsey. I guess Gerald Everett? Austin Hooper and Greg Dolkich, or however you say his name. I, he's not terrible, but I just don't have any reason to say he's better than any of the other tight ends. Now we're on to O-lines. Again, if I say stupid shit about O-lines, spare my life. I don't study offensive lines. I apologize. Probably gonna go Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders, Broncos. The only reason I have the Broncos in last for their O-line is because Russ was constantly getting annihilated last year. He had no protection, so I'm assuming that they're bad, or they were bad. Now we're on to defense. Denver, Chiefs, Chargers, Raiders. Look, the Raiders definitely got some studs on their team, like Max Crosby, but they're definitely the weak link defensively in the division. Chargers should be great on paper, but they're gonna be old and banged up, just like they were last year, even after the addition of Eric Kendrick. Chiefs, their defense played really good last year, and I think they're only gonna continue to be better. However, Denver, they're always a brick wall. And they just added Zach Allen onto a defense that's already got guys like Pat Sertan, Justin Simmons. Be a miracle if Randy Gregory could come back to earth. I think they're gonna be loaded. And now we're on to head coach to end it. Andy Reid, Sean Payton, and then we'll go dumb and dumber. McDaniels is terrible. Brandon Staley is terrible. Sean Payton is an excellent head coach and Andy Reid is arguably the best in the league. AFC West, done. All right, now we're on to the AFC South and this one's gonna be fun. So beginning with quarterbacks, we have got Trevor Lawrence, CJ Stroud, then we'll go Tannehill, and then Richardson. I mean, I've heard multiple times Richardson's just not NFL ready from the Colts themselves. Tannehill, he isn't bad at all. However, I think CJ Stroud is going to be really, really good. And Trevor Lawrence is, I mean, he's him. Anyway, moving on to running backs. This is kind of hard. We will go with King Henry, JT Money, Travis Etienne, and Damian Pierce. This actually might be one of the best running back divisions in all of football. It's actually crazy. Pierce got hurt last year and he was a rookie. Etienne, even though it was his first full year, he did pretty good. JT, I still think is arguably, you know, a top five back in the league. And Derrick Henry is top two, but he's not number one. Now we move on to wide receivers. Ooh, Jags, Colts, Texans, Titans. For the record, 
Every team besides Jacksonville has terrible wide receivers. <laughs> Moving on to tight ends. Ooh. I'm going to actually give it to Evan Ingram. I, I, he looked really good last year. Then we'll go with Dalton Schultz, very close behind him. And then I guess we'll go Moal Cox if he's even the number one. And whoever the Titans even have. I don't know. And I'm not looking. Now we're on to O line Colts, Jags, Texans, Titans. I know the Colts have a pretty good O-line. The Jags kind of hit or miss. Texans, I believe, did improve theirs, and the Titans improved theirs, but theirs was so awful that I don't know how much the rookies are going to help. Now we're on to defense. Probably go with the Colts for now still because they've got Shaq Leonard, and then I'd probably go with Houston. They've made some good moves this offseason and had a good draft. Then we'll go to Jacksonville, and we'll end with Tennessee. I look like a Tennessee hater, but I think this is pretty real. And now we'll end with the head coaches. It's a toss-up between one and two again. I'm going to go actually go Doug Vray. D'Amico and then Strachan. We don't know a lot about Strachan or whatever. D'Amico we don't know a lot about either, but his aggression in the draft has really made me like him. Vrabel is excellent and Doug Peterson I'm just so impressed with last year that he takes the cake. AFC South, done. All right, AFC North time. For quarterbacks, we are going to go Burrow, Lamar, Watson, and Pickett. That one's pretty self-explanatory, I feel like. I mean, some people might take Pickett over Watson, but kind of a reach. Now we got running backs. Chubb, Najee, Mixon, Dobbins. Dobbins, I just need to see more health out of. Mixon took a huge fall down, and I don't even know if he's going to be playing this year. Steelers, we all know I don't really care for Najee, but at least he's around to play. And Chubb is the best in the league. Now we're on to receivers. Bengals, Browns, this is close. We'll go Ravens, Pittsburgh. Bengals have the best receiving room in the league. Browns have a very underrated receiving room. The Ravens could be good, but I just wonder how healthy they're going to remain. And the Steelers, again, could be good. But a lot of that will depend on Kenny. And on top of everything, I hate Allen Robinson. Now we're on to the tight ends. Mark Andrews, Friar Muth, Najoku, and Irv. Irv Smith Jr. is terrible. David Njoku is elite, but he has a lot of injury issues. Pat Fryermuth is going to be one of the best tight ends going forward, and Mark Andrews is top five. Now we're going to go on to O-lines, and again, one and two are neck and neck. I'll, I'll probably actually give this one to Baltimore, Cleveland, Bengals, and then the Steelers, because theirs obviously still needs some work, but I feel like that's probably not too far off. Steelers got help, but we haven't seen it yet. And now we'll flip to defense. We'll go Steelers, Cleveland, Baltimore, Bengals. I think all these teams have pretty good defenses. I think the Bengals are going to take a little hit, though, losing their safeties. Ravens still have a ton of star power. It just depends on how healthy they are. Browns, well, they already were really good and got better with Zadarius Smith. In Pittsburgh, it seems like they're one of the best defenses in football at all times. And now we will end with the head coach. Tomlin, Taylor, John Stefanski. Stefanski, he kind of still has a lot to prove. Harbaugh and Taylor are kind of close, but I've seen Harbaugh really blow some leads and make some idiotic decisions that would lead me to believe that Taylor honestly might be trending towards above him. And obviously the best in the division is Tomlin because he's one of the greatest coaches of all time. AFC North, done. And pretty close too. And now it's time for the main event, the AFC Beast. Starting with the quarterbacks, we've got Joshua Patrick Allen, Aaron Rodgers, Tua Tagovailoa, and Mac Jones. Call me biased, but I'm taking Josh over Aaron. However, Aaron is a clear number two. Then there's Tua at three, and Bottomine is Mac, but he's really not that bad. Now we got running backs. Brees Hall, Ramondre Stevenson slash James Robinson, James Cook and Damian Harris, and ending, we got Mostert and whoever the hell else Miami has. Kind of a weak running back division, but I think Hall is really good and Stevenson's really good and Cook could be really good. Now we got receivers. Miami, Buffalo, New York, New England. Patriots still suck. Jets at least have Garrett Wilson. Bills have got Diggs, Gabe Davis, and Khalil Shakir. Like, I feel pretty good about that. And Miami clearly has the best receiving core in that division. It's not close. Now we will look at tight ends. Oh, man. Honestly, right now, might take Hunter Henry over anybody. Kincaid could be good. Knox isn't bad, but I don't think they're as good as Hunter Henry. They're number two. Then I'd go to Tyler Conklin and Durham Smythe as the last guy. Now we'll go on to O-lines. Miami, maybe? Then we'll go to the Jets, assuming that Mackay is healthy the whole year. Patriots and Buffalo. No secret, Buffalo's O-line is absolutely dreadful. Patriots, like I said, I don't really know about. Jets have a lot of potential, and Miami's, I think, did pretty decent last year. Now we got defense. Bills, 
Jets, Dolphins, Pats. All of them have good defenses too. This is crazy. I'd still take the Bills over all of them. I think they're the most well-rounded. The Jets are very hot and upcoming. We just need to see if Quinnen's gonna stay there or not. Miami's very good in the secondary, especially with Jalen Ramsey, but it doesn't make them unstoppable. And the Patriots, well, they're always solid. The addition of Christian Gonzalez is gonna be great, but I, it's just very close. And ending, we got a head coach. Bill, Sean, Robert, Mike. Bill is the best coach in the history of the game. Sean, I'm kind of losing hope for but I think his heart's in the right spot. Salah is good and I think we're gonna see even more out of him now and Mike McDaniel he's either a genius to some people or to other people they see him as an idiot. Honestly I see both. I really don't know where I stand. And that is gonna be all for the AFC Beast! And that is all for the AFC in general. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Not sure what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but eventually running back stat predictions are on the way and more vlogs will be coming. If you guys wanna show support, you already know what to do. I appreciate the help, but with everything I just said, I'm gonna hop off and get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. Enjoy your Thursday, and as always, I will see you in the next video.